Welcome back to Timber Borners Where I've been really sick So my voice is now thick Last time we survived the stink Which means you can still lip sync To the intro that's on the brink Of sending me back to bed Don't worry I only recorded the song while still The rest of the video was done while I was well So I'm still happy throughout don't worry Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to the Timber Borners. Uh, last time we... <laughs> we had fun last time. Yeah, we had our first look at the Bad Tide, which I guess I wasn't that set up for. Maybe I got a tiny bit cocky before all that happened. Um, however, we are we are sort of working on the Mega Dam and it's actually, it's nearly in. We've just got these two floodgates to go and then I think our colony will pretty much be good to go because I know how to deal with bad tides now. We've got this adjustable floodgate. I may I may add some stuff down here but it depends how often those bad tides happen. I don't actually know. Like is that just they replace droughts now or is it just random or I don't know. I don't know. All I do know we've got plenty of water. We've got plenty of food. Uh, we don't have plenty of beavers. We've got 15 adults which you can see there. We've got six children. Oh hang on the, the bottom one hasn't been named yet. Yes I name all of these after to my very lovely Patreons as a way of saying thanks for supporting the channel. Oh, that's a great name. Benjaneer. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, yeah, so we need to sort of try and work out priorities of things. Um, I can see we got like a forester up there doing nothing. So Liam Bowers, your pause, mate. Go get another job. We should probably get more water on the go. But to be fair, we don't have the 50 beavers we had last time. So maybe I don't need to worry too much about that. We've got one hauler, trust tree. Huh? we got two builders in there and then four builders in there. That's probably too many builders, to be fair. Let's pause the builder's hut. Yeah, we'll just fast forward the night because I hate night cycles in games. I can't see anything. All right, and then it's the next morning. I'm a bit concerned. I don't think anyone, like, went to sleep. Like, what? What's wrong? Oh, no! I, we're on 24-hour working still. Oh, turn that down. I think I put that up because it was an emergency. Yeah, that was trying to get, like, these floodgates in and all the dynamite done. Oh, that was silly. That was a little bit silly. But yeah, you can see the, the new farming area is looking very nice. Oh, look, the water level's, like, actually going up. Do I actually... Do I not need the floodgates? <laughs> Like, look at the water level up here. Oh, look, look, look at Milk TV under under the water. That's really deep. That's like dark. You can see the old where the old farms were. They've been flooded. In fact, should probably delete those because that's 15 logs we get back. And uh, we are we're slacking on logs at the moment. So yeah, delete all of them. Then that's a few more resources dotted about. You got new log pumpers going in up there. I feel like I need. I probably need some more food storage around here. That looks like quite a nice gap for food storage. We'll shove that there. We'll tell it to store. Probably just cool rabies. Because that's what all these farmers have gone. But yeah, look at my immense farmland up here. Like it goes all the way down this way. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I'm having like a moment here. We could build. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We could build a paddy field. I'm not talking about a field for paddy. Like imagine paddy just running around a field. So you've got that image in your head right now. Now remove it from your head. That's not what I mean. I mean a paddy field. Like you know what they make rice in. So what I'm what I'm thinking we get some dynamite we should have a load of dynamite yeah we got 68 dynamite so i want to end up down here so we're gonna go from this place and get to that point then we'll dig down dig down dig down right so i think that should be good once that's all in all i'll need i'll need a damn piece to go in there just to make sure that this does not just empty completely or oh, actually no maybe a floodgate because otherwise this will just overflow won't it we don't want to lose water down here yeah so just a floodgate up the top a single one in fact could probably put that in first like if i say single high floodgate go there then that's like my switch to let water off to fill up this and then that will make all of this area down there green i could even do the same like over this way like because that could store a fair amount of water yeah i'll tell you what i'll tell you what let's get a strip of dynamite in over to that point perhaps do the same at that level and then from there the water should just find its way in i think i mean i could i could do another one there and then do another floodgate up the top nice and then my farming area is like proper future proofed because that will be so much land i just need stairs to get up and down these things let's put stairs down there and there and connect a path over like that i will have to come back and like adjust them a little bit like i've got quite a good idea for like a space saving idea here to max out the farm and in fact just sod it i'll just put it in now so basically if i just do my path like on top of platforms or even does it need to be on top of platforms no i want a wet beaver there's no point in having a dry beaver in this game you want it nice and wet 
wet. Nice and moist. And I'm pretty sure stairs are permeable in this game. So if I put that there, that shouldn't affect anything. Then another one there. Then path all the way through that. Then we got a path over to that point. But then what, I, what I'll probably do here is put the path on platforms on this. Oh, or just do or just do steps down it again. But oh no, look. Oh, there's a drought. Okay, it's just a drought. It's just a drought. Uh, we can cope with a drought. We have loads of water. Look at this place. Um, I assume this is the last thing being built. Yeah, what are we after? We're just after 20 logs. Well, there's loads of logs down here, lads. So hopefully they'll be on that soon. And then we can start pumping from in here once we have these these deep water pumps built. Uh, by the way, look who's just grown up. Log Pumper 69. Yes. In fact, they're working right there. They're sat on their butts on the gatherer flag. Let's just hit pause. So if I pause that job and then get that Log Pumper unlocked, hopefully... Yes, they've gone in there. Log Pumper 69 has gone to be a Log Pumper. Now they are ferociously oh, yeah. showing me their skills because um, since that drought is approaching, we better get some water saved up. Even though I think we should be okay with all of this saved now, I still think it's sensible to do that. Uh, something else I'm considering as well is putting a dam across there just to fill up this area a bit. I'm just worried if I have a dam, it might slow those down. But uh, I guess we can just try and then if it, if it does have a negative effect... We can always just demolish it. But I think that's something to build during the drought. Right, decent. Okay, things are actually looking good. The, the colony is growing in size. Yes, we took a big hit last time, but we were saved eventually. And let me explain exactly how through a story time with Matt. Flashback. Oh, look at them. Look how hungry and pink they are. Why did no one warn me about this bad tide thing? Oh no, look at this place. Every last beaver is dead dead. Is this the end of timber borners as we know it? Wait, wait, wait. What's that rustling? I can hear, I can hear a noise. In there, there's one baby beaver remaining. Yes, look, they're about to be born. Wait, there they are. <laughs> there they are walking over the dead bodies. A little baby beaver all alone. What's your name, little one? Gubby Bean. Wait, you're the one that gave me the warning and I ignored you, but you're back. I'm on this warning now. Don't worry, you ignored me too. And all this time you've been working on some hardcore beaver technologies that can save all of us. Go on, I'm listening. I'm on this warning night. I'm with you. You think it's up and running, but there wasn't time for any test fires. It may not go to plan. Where are you leading us, Gubby Bean? In here, hey? Wow, what is this thing? You want me to pull this lever, then press this button? <laughs> Oh, it's so bright. What what happened? Wait, where are we? B what is this place? It's so cold. Where are you, Gubby Bean? Down here? You're a penguin now? What is going on? Where are we? What do you mean not where, but when? We time traveled, but the machine wasn't calibrated and we ended up in the ice age. And due to time genetics, your body cannot exist in its current form. So now you're a penguin until we time travel again. Okay, well, let's try this again. We gotta go, we gotta go forward in time. We only need to be a few minutes before the bad time came, right? Then I can change everything. Okay, hit it. Oh no, this doesn't look right. What what time is this? Where are you, Gubby Bean? Oh, is that you down there? Oh, what's wrong with your face? You're a human now. We got a lot closer to our time, but this is before the end of the humans and the rise of beaver kind. Man, we are getting some timberborn lore here. But yeah, you're right. It does. It smells here. So come on, let's let's keep going forward in time. We can get back to the right place. Hit it. <laughs> Uh, Gubby Bean, this does not look right at all. I think we went a little bit far ahead in time. In fact, where where even are you, Gubby Bean? What, down, down here in one of these pink... G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. You're moving too fast. <laughs> I can't keep up with you. Once you get to the end of this road, let's, let's hit the button again. <laughs> Okay, okay, it looks like we're back. We're back. The bad tide has already hit, but I think there's a way out. To make gains, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. This is for the good of the colony. End of flashback. But everyone knows most stories are exaggerated, so that probably didn't happen. Anyway, where were we? Uh, tell you what, could probably use some logs. So let's unpause that. McLoudass, you can go in there and chop some of those oaks down. Um, and then perhaps it's worth thinking about, am I definitely secure from a future bad tide? Because now we've got these dams in, it's going to be a hell of a lot harder to move poo water 
should it come flowing through everywhere? And actually, there was so much poo water. Is this even, like, suitable? Like, I can't remember. Did it spill over this side with a four-wide channel? Because to be fair, that's four-wide up there. The other water source is two-wide. So I think, really, this should be six-wide. I think safety first is our mantra now. So we put stairs in there, stairs on the opposite side. Get rid of that bush. Get rid of two strips of those. Cheeky path in between. And then I will just dynamite that strip. So in the meantime, down the bottom, let's dynamite that wider. Um, and then we do actually, we need to get over there, don't we? So I guess continue our platforms like that. Uh, and then we're nearly good. But I think still, even if this like works perfectly, we're going to get some poo overflow. Now, I remember seeing somewhere, was it in the water thing? No, it was here in landscaping, an irrigation barrier. Because that stops contaminated land. So that would be perfect, like along this edge and like along the edge of this farm. Because we know this is where poo water is going to go. However, uh, they cost the, the shiny planks. And shiny planks are made in the wood workshop. So I need pine resin. I don't really have any pine trees. A load of science, a load of resource to build that. So maybe I should grow some, some pine trees somewhere. And actually, this forester, since there's no poo water coming down here, maybe just a little pine ledge up here would be good. So let's unpause that. Now, I'm going to tick this thing as well. Replant dead trees not marked for cutting. I think that should mean the mangroves will be replanted, hopefully. But yeah, pine trees will grow up here and these will just be for resin purposes. We will not be getting wood from these. <laughs> That's That could be clipped and used in a discriminative way. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> But yeah, right. After a small little blip last time, I think we're back on track to having our most successful season ever. It's just a case of what do I prioritize? Like, do I get this dam in? Do I get the paddy fields in? Probably this, to be honest. So assign priorities, very high priority because that's how we roll. Build those, build those, build these, all of those. Remove all of those as well. Nice. Oh my goodness. Look at the crop we've had this month. Oh dear. We need more farmers. At the moment, it's just Andrew and Frederick doing the business. I should get more farmers in, really. Are there any jobs we can afford to lose? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure there is. We just need more people to grow up and stop dying. Reese, why did you die? We need you. I'll tell you what, actually, there's a job over... Who's, who's in there? I... What are you doing? We don't need... We don't need these trees cut down. Let's pause you. I mean, we did need logs, to be fair. But you're so far away from the rest of the colony. I think just come back. Wait, oh, look. Our forester is in there. But wait, log pumper six... Wait, I thought you were log pumping. I nicked your job. <laughs> Log bumper, you were destined for such better things than planting. I'd imagined you working your wood, making juice for the colony for everyone to drink. Oh! Ew! Instead, you've degraded yourself to planting trees in the water. That's a very embarrassing career move. Anyway, thankfully, because like nothing got actually destroyed, aside from the beaver numbers, uh, we've still got like all those rooftop terraces, all these campfires. We've still got all the good stuff. We've still got the butt scratcher. Oh, look at that. Trust tree. Loving it. To be fair, he's been, he's a hauler. So he's been hauling all day, carrying everyone's stuff. So he needs a bit of butt scratching. Um, actually, what else can we, I'm getting distracted. We've got so much stuff to build. I should probably fast forward time, especially as it's nighttime. But like, I'm thinking, about getting some of these things in. A swimming pool. Ooh. An exercise plaza. A wind tunnel. What? Oh, I can actually afford to build like most of these. Oh, not that though. We need the posh planks for that. Yeah, that's probably what I should work on next, to be fair. The posh planks. Because we should have the pine trees going. In fact, let's prioritize the pines. Nice. Okay, they're being planted now. Um, oh, look over this way. We've built that bit of storage. So that's good. Oh, no. The drought has started though. So it's a six day long drought. So there's no water coming in from the top. But because we've got like dams everywhere, everywhere's staying super green. Like to be fair, I could I could let these guys just keep pumping because then I can just like let some water out occasionally. I mean, I'd rather have these log pumpers up and running. Like that's the ultimate location because then it doesn't matter what happens down here. Down here, if this dries up, then everywhere goes everywhere goes brown. So maybe I will pause these just briefly. Hopefully everyone can go become workers. Yeah, Dancy Entertainment and Ibe, they're now builders. So hopefully, yeah, look up here. We are getting some stuff 
done. Down here, we got dynamite in as well. I think I need to remove plant crops from there because that's where I'm going to put my irrigation barriers once they're unlocked. Actually, can I unlock them now? I can unlock them now. Shall I plan ahead? I sort of want to see what they look like. Yeah, they're just nine stakes in the ground. So do I want to shove those there? Yeah, unlock that, please. Like, what happens here, though? Like, do I need to put them in as well? Like, down there? Will that be okay? And then just along this edge? Tell you what, if I remove this edge from planting, then I think I can just shove these, like, all the way around like that perhaps um, i'm guessing here as well i probably need to put like levees in or something because otherwise the water will well the poo water will just sit on top of those which means all of this will get infected but if there's levees on top that should block it again not really worked with any of this stuff before so don't really know but in theory i think that should work as long as that keeps all the poo water over here because as it comes down it may spill over so actually do I want to like, do I want to do that sort of thing? Just like a proper protective wall. I think I then need these stakes like on there. And then this edge here, when they're gone, there'll all be stakes as well. Okay, in my head, I think that should work. The thing is, I'm going to need a lot of treated planks, which means I'm going to need a lot of resin. And that's going to take a little while to grow. 12 days to get to logs. And then every seven days we get the resin. So I'll need a tapper's shack, which, oh, is another 500 science. I mean, I've got 12 days to save up for that because that's until the trees are grown i then need a wood workshop 800 science so yeah as we as we start growing a colony we're going to get people back to being scientists did scientist nate make the mass culling of beavers no he didn't also i was thinking as well i should probably i should probably build something to commiserate this area <laughs> the name of the district is still you're going to Oh, I didn't even I didn't even put the word B in there. You're going to OK. <laughs> Little did they know if you actually rearrange the letters of the word OK, it actually spells die. But yeah, I think I should get some sort of like shrine in just to remember them. And we got monuments down here. Oh, they're expensive. OK, maybe not. Maybe not a monument. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe something a little bit cheaper. Oh, I was thinking Temple. Is Temple, like, exclusive to the other clan now? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Okay, or well, maybe, like, an exercise plaza. If they're doing yoga and stuff, they're going to be, like, meditating and, I don't know, whatever yoga people do. So I reckon we'll put that up there just as a nice little memorial to them. Uh, but again, I need, I need loads of science for that. And with no scientist Nate on the go, I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to have to be patient, I guess. Ugh hate being patient. All right, anyway, up here we have space for our dynamites. I'm actually thinking if I high prioritize just to that point, then I can get my floodgates in. So I'll then do next priority of those and those so that hopefully those six get built. Then I set them off. Then I build the floodgates and then these get exploded. Plan. All right, everyone sticks to the plan because they're laying dynamite. Decent. So basically once those six are in, we then press detonate. Boosh. Then we floodgate those two. Super high prioritize them. Then, oh, actually, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, so that means the, the water doesn't escape from here, but we're in a drought, so the water's already escaped. Um, that's the point. I should probably make sure down here has a little a little top up. Let's just allow a tiny bit of water to get down. Decent. Keeping the area green. All right, so up there is done. Let's... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't, I didn't explode him. Wait, is that... <laughs> Can we get an action replay there? What just happened? I thought I just accidentally exploded a beaver, but for some reason, there's a beaver over there asleep. So maybe they walked past, but if we just press play, yeah, he is okay. He's okay. He's not dead. <laughs> I thought he was dead. Oh, I think, was he trying to build that from the top? Either way, good news is, Ibe Thomason, he's alive. Uh, bad news is, he's now, he is now stranded. Oh, which means I've got to build new stuff dares just to get him in oh <laughs> you silly silly beaver so if i put that there i could just demolish those and then they should build these with those resources should be in the keyword all right come on i don't know how much longer he's got left he's hungry and thirsty come on rescue mission <laughs> yes he's free he's free okay we're good yeah and the good news is the the floodgates are in there all right so now irrigation barrier down there so that should stop over here getting infected and then i probably need one like oh i don't know did all of these get infected before i didn't actually think about that how am i going to stop those getting infected hmm we're gonna have to think about that to be fair those irrigation things are like a long way off like i'm not going to be able to actually build these in a long time but still nice okay let's explode those it's the end of the drought 
which means water is returning. Everything is good. Let's get the log pumpers up and running again. Are these ones built yet? No, still not yet. So we'll just unpause those three. Now, we only used up 300 water there. The joys of having a small colony. It was all part of the master plan, I swear. But oh, no, look, my dam down here is built. They're not running. Oh, now they are, though. Okay, so now there's water over there. We have more water down here. Oh, cheeky little flood. But oh, man, it's like surging. Look at it. It's like a tide. It's like going up and down. What's going on? Oh, the whole... All the water's like bubbling up and down. Can I can I see the moon? What's going on with the moon? Is that the moon up there? Let's zoom in really, really close. What is happening on the moon? That might be something we need to try and keep track of. Anyway, for now, we just... <laughs> we just have very violent tides going on. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I'm right. Oh, we are completely out of planks. Let's get some plankers on the go. Oh, we're out of trees as well. All right, come on. We need more. We need more wood. I feel like I should probably get a forester like up this end as well. Like just one sort of working on his own. If I shove that there, I can tell that to replant dead trees. That will replant all of these oaks. In fact, I don't want a wood crisis. So... <laughs> we have to spend our money on blue pills otherwise. So yeah, let's high prioritize that. All right, anyway, Spuddy Hell has just grown up. Um, and that sort of reminds me, should we be trying to get our cassavas back on the way? Because we built these very, very efficient machines. We're not really utilizing them right now. Our cassava fields are like under the ground. Yeah, there they are. They're like completely... <laughs> completely buried but maybe with our farming areas we could cassava a bit of up here somewhere or would it be better because i don't think you get the most value out of those i feel like soybeans are a lot better or maybe eggplants i mean very very efficient vegetable thing is fermenting we can only do we can only do soybeans or cassavas oh, by the way the births have just like gone out of control like look how many beavers we have now there's so many there's so many there's seven kids to grow up as well yeah the good news with that is is most people are becoming scientists as their career choice meaning science is flowing and i can finally start building some of that stuff the other thing means i sort of need these deep water pumps built a bit sooner actually they're on super low priority that's a bit silly let's normal prioritize those see this is why i don't like putting stuff low priority because then it gets forgotten <laughs> Right, anyway. Oh, nice. Look, the channels are in. So we can boosh, explode all of this. Oh, I forgot the water is actually leaking out of those. Yeah, so now if I if I lower that floodgate, the water comes down here to there. Can then raise it back up. And then look, down here, we've got loads of water. No, we've got a flood. We've got a flood. Hang on, raise that. Raise that. <laughs> Oops, flooded, flooded the map a bit. But yeah, look, all of this can be farmed now. And then I can do the same on this side. Paddy fields for the win. So boosh, boosh, boosh. So then lower that. Oh, it turns to night so you can't actually see what I'm talking about. But that's filling up down here. So then when I raise that, we now have even more planting area. Look at this green area. Well, they've got to be slightly careful. That's polluted land because the bad tide. I mean, oh man. I was going to say maybe I could dam up here. But that much bad water coming out. I mean, there's two bum holes of the map there. So that could really cause issues. I'm just thinking if I were to dam there, that could like flood all the way down. So that could cause issues potentially. It's quite far away from a colony. Maybe we get a bad water discharge on there instead and just shut them off that way. But it would be nice not to have the pollution down here just so I can like, I can farm all of this. But yeah, for now, I don't think I need that much food. We're on one and a half thousand. Oh, look, we got the log pumpers up here. Here we go. Prioritize with haulers all of these. So who have we got in here? We got the Dark Ash 666. We got Tom 23rd and Zilla pumping their logs. We got large water storages there. Or actually, no, they're just medium, aren't they? What is a large tank? Oh, large tank is huge. But yeah, nice. This is good. This is really good. We're sort of at the point where I feel like we're doing way better than when that bad tide hit. We're almost prepared for the bad tide. We do need to try and get that that treated plank stuff done. You see pine trees are in, but they're still quite a way off. Oh no, they're only about four days away from producing the, the pine resin. So I guess unlock a tapper's shack. And look, you can mirror these buildings. F. So shove that there. Yes, please. So then we should be tapping the, the pine resin out of those. And then we can get the woodworking thing in, which I guess we'll just add down here because this is where the power is. And then we can get treated planks and then we can get loads of fun stuff. Whoa. Right. Well, for now, I think we're going to leave on a very high point. Look at this place. We are thriving. We are absolutely thriving. Next time I will I will try and get the, the monument in up there. But yeah, to be honest, it's like I've played like eight seasons of this game and I'm, I actually understand how it works. I'm actually quite good at it now. So for now, I'll say peace, love, and I feel like I'm getting cocky and it's all going to backfire again. Bye, guys.